we have a women's MMA fight. It's going to be Joanne Wood versus Myra Morose. Joanne Wood, 16 and 8. She is 2 and 3 in her last five, and she's coming off that split decision win over Luana Carolina. Morose is 11 and 5. She is 3 and 2 in her last five. She's actually coming off that submission loss to Kareen Silva. As we look for the odds on this fight right here, we see that Morose is a minus 210, opened up at a minus 154. I will say that both these ladies actually fought once before, about nine years ago, where Morose earned a first round submission armbar win over Joanne Wood. Alex, I'll kick it off to you. What do you think about this first fight on the prelims between Wood and Morose? Yeah, so, um, you know, one thing that, or a couple things that, that I immediately noticed was that Joanne Wood is 38 years old. Um, so getting up there in age. And another another thing was that um, looking at her record, you know, she's been submitted five times all in the uh, first round. So that was a little bit uh, concerning for me. Um, then, you know, kind of breaking down her tape, I noticed that she looks pretty clean, uh, you know, especially in the stand-up game. She likes to move forward. Um, doesn't mind getting into the clinch and, you know, she'll throw knees and elbows. Now, um, you know, in the Alexa Grosso fight, I thought she looked, you know, especially good in the first round. Um, but uh, I think, you know, that fight from uh, Alexa Grosso to Luana uh, Car Carolina, I thought her she looked considerably worse. Uh, it seemed that, like, her age, you know, that one year gap kind of kind of caught up to her. Um, so I thought that was, you know, a little bit concerning as well. And then for Moreau's, um, six submission wins. But, uh, you know, judging from her last two fights, I tend to think that this will stay on the feet. Um, you know, I think if there will be any grappling, I feel like it'll be Joanne Wood. Um, that initiates it, you know, in my opinion, I, I just haven't really seen Moreau's uh, kind of grapple, uh, even though she does have six submission wins. Um, so Moreau's, I think, you know, she's a solid boxer as, as well, but she's kind of bad at finding her range. Um, she had a lot of trouble against uh, Maya. Um, I think she has, you know, she has combinations, floating style, kind of light on her feet uh lunges forward with jabs uh but when you know when i watch morose she has a very like how do i describe it like obvious cadence mm -hmm. in the way that you know she fights it's like okay i'm gonna go in come out go in come out and so i didn't really like that either um and like i i just don't like the price on morose because I feel like Morose is going to lose the first round just because Joanne Wood looks really good in the first round. Um, and then like Morose can potentially win the next two, but like, is that worth like minus, I don't know what the price is at two Oh five or something. Um, so, you know, at Morose is 32, you know, I expect her to be the fresher fighter, the deeper the fight goes, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, my pick is going to be Joanne Wood, actually, you know, uh, as the underdog. So that's going to be my pick. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a pretty tough fight to predict, um, even though, you know, there was a first round submission win by Morose nine years ago. A lot can change in nine years. So that data might not even be relevant to this fight today. You know, I think Wood is a solid striker. She can mix in some grappling takedown when needed as well. I mean, I think she is really pretty solid at uh, striking punches, knees, kicks, elbows. She has like a whole arsenal of striking that she can uh, use. She also pumps out a pretty decent volume as well. I think that her volume stats are pretty good. You know, almost seven strikes landed per minute. And she has a positive striking ratio, which is something that's good. She gets, she hits more than she gets hit. I think that she can also have the takedowns in her back pocket can make those fights closer than um, for the judges so they can kind of decide then. Now, she has been subbed five times in her career, all in the first round and all in the UFC, so that's a, one of the red flags that I see. You know, Morose did 
was one of the people that did that. So, you know, and it's also interesting because she does have six sub wins. But like you mentioned, I mean, to me, she seems like more of a stand up fighter. You know, it's just more of a boxer. She does get hit more than she lands, though. Um, I, I think that she prefers to fight on the outside, but she still gets hit. So that's not a that's just not a good sign. I, I think that her, you know, striking offense is also not as good as Wood, in my opinion. I think that right now I'll probably lean towards Marotz finding a victory over Wood via decision. And the reason, the main reason is that I think that she did look a little flat against Luana Carolina. And I feel like at age 38, you tend to not age, you know, backwards. You tend to continue age forward, and especially in the fight game. So as flat as she looked against Luana Carolina, I think she's going to look even flatter this fight. I think that Moros by decision is probably going to be my pick, but I'm I'm going to stay away from this fight completely. I'm not even going to play the over two and a half there because Wood has shown <laughs> an issue to be uh, subbed in the first round, and you know Moros is one of those people that did it. So I could see a finish in this fight, and I'm probably staying away from this fight overall. So yeah, that's going to be my pick, but I'll probably just watch that fight and see what happens.